Hey guys, um, excuse the way I look, I haven't been sleeping very well every night because he still wakes up every one to two hours to nurse, but it's okay, I still love him. Um, and he's growing. So yeah, this is my three month breastfeeding update. So there you go about that, about the night. <laughs> um, so yeah, he nurses every two hours, I think he's gone three or four hours before. We're in between nursing, but most of the time, like 98% of the time, it's every two hours that he nurses. And um, so, yeah. And he's very, very tiny now. Of course, I'll show you guys him as soon as I'm... I'll show you guys uh, what he looks like at the end of the vlog. So, yeah. Breastfeeding is going well. Um, my supply is still really good, which I'm excited about. It's three months. I've gone three months. And again... I think I told you guys this before, I'm taking it uh, month by month, um, and of course I want to breastfeed, of course until the age of one, but um, I want to see if I can make it to uh, two years old. So yeah, but my goal right now is to get to one, and I'm just taking it month by month, so yeah. But my supply is still amazing, and there's been a couple times where I feel like it's gone down, even though I don't think it did, but I felt like it has, so I would just like drink a lot of water. And I eat uh, oatmeal, um, and I mix it with coconut oil and stuff like that, because I heard that coconut oil can help increase your milk supply. And I apply coconut oil to my nipples, because I think I talked about last month how I have thrush, and I don't know if it's still there or not, but um, I'm going to continue to put coconut oil on my nipples, and of course in his mouth. I brush his gums with coconut oil. Um, so, yeah, and, and I've noticed that if I don't put the coconut oil on and I try to get him to nurse, it's like he doesn't want to, like, I don't know, this, it's just weird. I mean, there's been a couple times where he will, if he's just that hungry, but there's just times where I'll try to get him to latch on and he's just like, no, he doesn't, he doesn't want it because he wants me to put the coconut oil on my nipple and I think he, I think he likes it. It kind of like... I don't know, because you know, of course, if you if there's nothing on there, your nipples like is is just dry, like just dry, like no moisture or anything like that. So, I think he likes um, the ease of ha of it like sliding into his mouth very easily or something like that. He doesn't have to like lube it up with his saliva. So yeah, um, I think he just likes the feel of the coconut oil. I'm not sure if he likes the taste or not. Obviously, he probably does if he wants it, but. But yeah, sorry, he's like down next to my feet, so, and he's asleep, so, and he's kind of like opening his eyes a little bit. He hasn't eaten in about almost two hours, so he's probably going to wake up soon to nurse. So yeah, um, what else for breastfeeding? I mean, I think somebody told me that like the sunlight, like on my last video, that sunlight can help uh, kill thrush, which is like a yeast infection. Um, so, I haven't tried that yet, but it's because it's been kind of cloudy, um, for the past couple days and stuff like that, but, um, and then somebody else told me, of course, to change my bra, um, and wash it, I think it's like every day or something like that, but what I do is that I, I change my, I put breast pads in, so, and I change those, um, every day or like, sometimes even twice a day. Um, I'll change those, and I never have my nipples directly up against my bra. And of course, if, I, I wash my bra every week. I think it's every weekend, and I think there's been a couple times where I wash it like in the middle of the week as well. So, and I have I have like I have three nursing bras. So, um, but yeah, it's I think it's gone away. I'm not sure, you know. But um, I'm just gonna continue to put the coconut oil on and stuff like that. So. But yeah, it was. It got to the point where it was. It was pretty painful. It was, it was like to where I felt like um, every time he would latch on, like I wanted to cry in pain because it felt like I was being stabbed with a knife, or I had my felt like my nipples were being cut off or something. Like so, sorry about the TMI, but that's that's how it felt. So and it was it was terrible. But that's gone away. Like it doesn't hurt anymore when he when he latches on. That lasted for about I think. A couple days so it was terrible <laughs> and um what else what else what else what else baby what else oh i made love 
Just that everything's going smooth and, and I haven't had any complications besides the rush. He latches on perfect and um, I love the bonding time. I just love it. And there's a couple nights in the middle of the night where, because um, he nurse, he wants to nurse every two hours. And he stopped. I think for the first month, I was able to like lay down in the bed and have him lay right next to me. And just whenever he would wake up, I just, you know, latch him on and he'd nurse like that. But for some reason, he doesn't like to nurse like that anymore and I think he stopped like close to two months I think I mentioned this in my last update as well but he doesn't like to nurse like that anymore so um, of course every now and then I keep trying and there's been there's a couple times where he actually will do it and then he'll fall right, right back to sleep but um, most of the time he doesn't want to nurse like that and I'm not sure really as to why because uh, I have like his body pressed up against my body and of course he's laying on his side and I'm laying on my side um, but I don't know I just don't know maybe he's just I don't know I'll just keep trying it every now and then and hopefully eventually he'll start liking that again because I really like to nurse like that I do I feel it's just like cuddle time like I don't know I like nursing like that um, yeah he wants me to actually sit up and nurse and sometimes in the middle of the night it's it's just hard because I'm just so tired and I'm like <sighs> yeah, but I still love him. And what else, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, so every two hours at night, and I'm exhausted from nursing like that. And I think that's it. I think that's it for my breastfeeding update. But yeah, he's growing, he's happy, and I'm happy, and yeah. And my boyfriend's happy because he doesn't have to buy formula. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's one of the another good thing about breastfeeding is that it's free. So, yep. Yeah, but of course, if anything ever happens and I need to buy formula, like, of course I, I will. Not not a big issue. I'm not against formula. I'm not against breastfeeding. I'm you know, whatever the baby needs, of course. Oh, Whatever the baby needs, of course, get give it to the baby. So that's what I think. And every parent's different, every child's different, every family's different. So yeah. So yeah, that's, those are my thoughts. Um, I think that's it. I think I'll let you guys go. And if you have any questions about breastfeeding or anything like that, then you know, ask below or send me a message or whatever. My Facebook fan page is the link will be down below. So of course, you can send me a message on there. I think a couple people. A couple people from my last video actually sent me messages on my Facebook asking me questions. Asking me questions about, you know, breastfeeding stuff. So, um, yeah. And of course, if it's any like anything medic medical or whatever, you know, don't... It's best to just talk to your doctor. Don't take advice from anybody on the internet. Um, like, if they're, ask if they're telling you, oh, take, th take this medication, take this medication, and, you know... Please go ask your doctor first. Don't don't take anything without consulting your doctor because everybody's different and everybody. It's the same thing with the coconut oil. Like you know, it works really well for me, but it might not work for everybody. So of course, always talk to your doctor before you do anything because you don't want to harm yourself and you don't want to harm your baby. So yeah, I know there's a lot of like things that you can like. There's like a lot of uh, medications and stuff like that that you can take to increase your supply and stuff. But never take anything without talking to your doctor first, so. Yep, there you guys go. And, uh, of course, if you have any questions, leave them down below or send me a message. So, I guess I'll talk to you guys next month.